Hello my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Hello my lovies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are grubbing down on sushi. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the fam bam lovey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification. <laughs> and uh, mambo jumbo. And let's get down to the nitty gritty. I got sushi from a new place called Oyi Sushi Bar. I'm going to put all their info down in the description below. It was a mission to get this, okay? It was in a part of Astoria that I never go to. I don't like to go to <laughs> and yeah it was a mission to get the sushi but we're gonna get some bites in and then we gonna we gonna see let me see what i ordered here i got a uh, crispy rice with spicy lobster spicy california roll shrimp tempura roll a mango iced tea and an order of spring rolls all of that came out to 42 bucks um yes i got everything cooked because after i did the parasite cleanse paragard i've talked about it a little bit here um okay um i honestly my stomach feels so much better and i think sushi was a big contributor to the fact that my stomach was all fucked up and I probably had a bunch of parasites in it. This is the the crispy rice with the spicy tuna. That looks good. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, I used to eat a lot of raw sushi, and I definitely had a lot of parasites. Because after I did the cleanse, I felt my stomach felt so much better. You know how I thought I had like IBS. My stomach issues went away. Like it doesn't get as irritated anymore. You know what I mean? I don't feel it like bloated all the time, hurting. Um. So I definitely think the cleanse helped. Worked and i gave up raw sushi as much as i love it it just honestly started to freak me out and i was like you know what it's not worth it So now, if I do get sushi, it's cooked. And this crispy rice with the lobster on top, amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So good. You know... Crispy rice always comes with tuna. This place has a lobster option. Like, yes, please. All right, let me take out this cover so I can put the soy sauce on that. And I can close this. I came to, if you guys know Astoria Park, 
have a like a parking lot I came here to film mind you brolic parking lot huge so many spaces okay I like park in a spot park in a spot and I'm like taking out the stuff about to film like the camera's already rolling and this car comes and pulls up right next to me. mind you he sees me okay sees like that like I'm in the middle of something but decides to like pull up right next to me and then I like look over like bro are you serious like there's so many fucking parking spots and he just like staring like I, I don't understand people I don't understand people like that why excuse me in a parking lot that's like literally there's like so many open spots you gotta pull up right next to me like there was a bunch across from me empty there was a bunch behind empty no, you gotta pull up. You gotta pull up right here. It's like, bro, if you wanna sit in the passenger seat, let me know. I'll fucking open the door for you. It's freaking annoying. I hate that shit. But whatever, we digress. Um, yeah, I got the spicy California and the shrimp tempura. So let's try the shrimp. No, the spicy California first. They literally just put the spicy mayo on top. Mm. It's good. It's fresh. And I don't know what you guys are going to say. It's a public parking lot. Yes, you're a damn skippy. It is. But I'm like, I'm just not the type of person to pull up right next to someone when there's like a thousand other spots. I'm really not like <laughs> I'm the one to go like away from everyone but whatever to each their own shrimp tempura I'm get a little soy and then on top of it you're just gonna stare like bruh You know what it is? In like today's world, it comes off like creepy. Like why? Why? Mm hmm Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. So how are my lovies doing? What's new? Anybody else feel... I don't know. I just feel like... <clears throat> the atmosphere feels... The atmosphere feels extremely thick. No? heavy with everything going on I don't know it's scary yeah. let's try spring rolls mm. I got a mango iced tea you could tell his homie that's good it's not like sweet um yeah it's just really heavy with everything going on 
with that like bridge collapsing um all of these things with them the women getting punched in the head in New York What the fuck is that about? You gotta really wonder about people nowadays. Can you imagine just walking in the street? Minding your motherfucking business. And someone just comes. And like, pa. And you get like a massive fucking bump on your head. Like, oh. I feel like I would be terrified to step out of my house after that. I don't understand. why people want to mess with other people when they're just minding their fucking business. This sauce, whatever it is, like a spicy chili. Mm, wow, my hell. It's just sad. And you know, they're New Yorkers. Because some of the girls are so nonchalant about the thing. Like, they're just like, I just got punched in the head. This one girl I saw, she was with her coworkers. Wasn't even alone. And got fucking punched in the head. And she had a brawl of gas bump. And they just continued, like, went to go have lunch or whatever the fuck they were having. And they're, like, giving her ice and stuff. And she's just like, yeah, I was with my coworkers. Like, so, like, such a New York attitude. I don't even know how I would react, honestly. I think I would be like in shock. Like, did that really just happen to me? Like, did someone just really punch me in the head? <laughs> I'll be like, no way. <laughs> Somebody wanted, you could just ask. My eye is like a little red. Like, I don't know if you guys could see. It's not pink eye though. I think it's just allergies. I don't know. Yeah, so there's just a lot of fucking crazy shit going on. People's houses getting raided. I mean, it took them long enough. Come on. Everybody knew Diddy was a scum. Everybody knows he was the one that set up Biggie to be killed. The hell?
Come on, the brown bite. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys saw the Nickelodeon thing on HBO Max. My childhood ruined. I just feel like uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like what kind of freaking world are we living? Where like kids have to suffer. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm the type of person that like I need to make sense of something, but with this stuff, like you just can't make sense of it. And I think that's what frustrates me the most. I think that's why I take it so hard. I've never really been a California girly. Like California rule. It's okay, but... It's like, eh. The shrimp tempura roller. Excuse me. That will always have my heart. Someone commented. I forgot their name. I'm gonna put the comment here on the screen. <laughs> they were like, "Girl, you eat sushi. You eat sushi. You could definitely, and you can't eat the tuna from Subways." <laughs> I thought it was fucking hilarious. They were like, "Come on, give it a try." Honestly, her comment alone made me sold on it because, I, like, she has a point. Like, I used to eat freaking sushi that was like, if you eat raw fish, like, nine out of ten times, there's fucking parasites in there. And yet I won't eat, like, Subway tuna. I'm like, come on, Christina. The math is not mathing. All right, my lovies. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to join the fam bam. And until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats. Peace.